Now then, Friday, three o'clock, and we're just bringing a, a lady into care from an address up at uh, Shirecliff. It's been an unusual day, hasn't it, David? It's it has, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But the less said about that, the better, obviously. Uh, all I will say is that when a loved one passes away, I want to make it clear that we'll do everything in our power to bring that person into care as soon as possible. If they pass away in the Northern General Hospital, more well, hospital and then to Mortry there, uh, nobody will be left in them conditions a minute longer than I have to leave them. So as soon as we get the necessary paperwork, I intend to make sure that they are brought into care straight away. That's a strange thing to say, isn't it, on social media? Them conditions. Well, I'm not going to go into it too much, because I don't need to. Because everybody that's watching this, other funeral diet and that, hopefully will know what I'm on about. But I'm not going to keep quiet for a minute longer. And I think what we should do is, I think it doesn't matter where your loved ones pass away, I think you should be able to go and have a look at where they're going to be looked after and cared for. You should look at floor in a building especially. You should look at conditions where loved ones are. Sadly, bad practices follow on from one place to another. Do you know what I'm saying? And I don't think they should. So, bit of a rant, but not too bad, Dave, is it? No. Ooh, at least it's two pint Friday. Back to two pint Friday, at least it's two pint Friday for Dave. Yeah. But it's been a long week, hasn't it? It has, huh? And I know we were supposed to be this week bringing me into care and showing you what we do. Because that's the thing on social media. I think people should see what happens when a loved one dies. I think they should be made aware that this is how we do things and this is what we do. Uh, it's like dispelling the myths. That's what it's about. I'm going to turn left here. I normally go right. I'm on... Uh, is it Barnsley Road, this are? Uh, I'm on Barnsley Road in Sheffield. But there were a, an accident up there when we were on our way to this home address. It's boiling, it's 27 degrees. Look at him all trussed up like a turkey at Christmas. I know. Won't be for long. Not be for long. He'll be in that club. Come five o'clock, he's going to at Nether Green because he's not going at Juniors. He went at Juniors last night. He went to see his psychiatrist bloke, didn't he? Yeah. Told him about it. Eh, not a lot really. He's just told me to carry on as I am. Just watching out for my good days and my bad days. Any bad days, just make a note of them and write them down and write down any trigger points if I, if you can if you know what the what sort of triggered it off and just keep keep doing that and keep keep taking the the walks getting out into fresh air which is alright these days because it's nice but as it gets later in the year you get cold dark nights you don't want to be going out do you you just want to sit well, it's not going to be like this for long, Dave. Because soon we, we were going to we'll have a rain storm, and next week it's going to be dark clouds and raining apparently. Yeah, then it'll be frost. And 
floods. Don't look on the right side too much, Dave. Well, I am while, while I can. He weren't on Monday because he had an horrendous, he'll not tell you, but last weekend he had a terrible weekend. Shocking weekend. In fact, it was so bad, Dawn ended up having to take his medication off him and just gain him as and when. Didn't she? Yeah. Because we were going to take all lot last week. Both me and Dave suffer from something called depression. Uh, and he had a really bad set to last weekend. But that's why they haven't done that this week, because I am being, well, I don't, Michael's not been in love for it really either. No. That's the place is for doing it, and I, I know I haven't, so. But we will do it, I promise you, probably next week. It will be done. He'll bring me into care and he'll show you exactly what he does. And I've got some boxer shorts on, don't worry. Uh, I might even have my pyjamas on, Mickey Mouse pyjamas. Uh, you never know. You never know. But he'll show you putting Brit tag on my arm and tag on my leg. Because people think that we tie them on people's toes on a piece of like paper. We don't. We use like what you get in hospital basically. But everybody has two on. They have one on their arm and one on the leg. But we'll run through all that probably next week, hopefully. Kids are just turning out from school, aren't they Dave? Yeah, yeah. They must be bloody boiling, they've all got the blazers on and the ties, they must be absolutely sweltering. Poor little sods. I hope there's aircon in them schools for a moment. Well, ah. Uh, see, they're blaming the women for that, aren't they? Yeah. 30 odd years since they put that concrete in. That's got nothing to do with government. That's the local councils what builds schools. It's them that's cut corners, not government. Government get blamed for everything. So, it's just what they do. Cheap materials, and then they wonder why after a couple of weeks it got redoing again. Has he ever stopped mourning? Mourning okay. about roads now. I know. You can tell I've had traffic lights on my way home, can't you? Yeah, he hates traffic lights, Dave. He hates them. We have passion. Well, everybody in Kilomarsh will know and understand why. Ah, if you're Norwood, it is Norwood, Killer Marsh, isn't it? Norwood, exactly. that's the top of Killer Marsh. Ah, it's still Killer Marsh though, isn't it? Well, no. Technically, it's Killer Marsh. So technically, it is, but it's like a separate area. We have a, div a debate about this because Dave do not like Norwood, and I, I've looked after loads of people from up Norwood, and they've always been lovely. I rate get on with them. They're my type of people from Norwood. But Dave living there is a bit of a snob. And if anybody is in Killer Marsh this evening, five o'clock ish, if you want to call into Nevergreen, uh, Dave will get you a pint. Not a problem at all. Last time I said that, three people approached him for a pint, didn't you, Dave? You did. So if you do want a pint tonight, Get in there, Dave. It's on Dave. Rounds are on him tonight. I went out to Junior's last night after his counselling. And apparently there's a wake on in there tonight, isn't it, Dave? Yeah. Well, not so much a wake, it's a memorial. Oh, wow, uh, memorial. To somebody. Uh, yeah. And uh, direct cremation. And You're having a celebration now. Having a celebration. So. And you don't want to be part of it, does it, Dave? No, well, it's not that I don't want to be part of it, but I don't. 
I'd love to be part of it, but you don't feel it mood on. On a Friday, I like to sit in quiet and reflect the week. Yeah. The things that I've seen. And get, just to clear me in, sit in quiet. That's why it's known as Two Pike Friday. Yeah. So I just sit down, a couple of pints, nice and quiet. Ah, it's not uncommon to see him drunk. It just depends where they don't. So as for me, as for my mental health, I'm all right. I'm plodding along. Uh, thank God for surgery and tablets that I'm on. See, Dave's doctor puts him on 100 mil, then drops him down to 75. My doctor doesn't do that. He just leaves him on 100 mil. Right, good. And it keeps you calm. Good job today, really, at Northern General Hospital, weren't it? Good job I was on surgery. Because I kept calm, and that's what it's about. But don't you hate it when two people are talking to you at the same time and asking you things, and you're like, oh, hang on a minute, I can only answer one in you, and I can only listen to one in you. Now, normally, I'd have... If I hadn't been on surgery, I'd have probably kicked off somebody doing that. But being on surgery made me realise, well, hang on a minute, they might need to be taught the etiquette of taught the like speaking. So you actually then speak to people and say, listen, we're not children in a playground. Let's communicate properly. One of you speak and I'll listen and answer the questions that are being asked and then the other person can then speak and then I'll speak because that's how you do it you don't all chat to one at the same time and expect them to listen and understand dear David you don't no you don't we've come a long way around uh, because obviously come to that way just a man. Traffic. So although we've gone a long way around, we're at Attercliffe now. Broughton Lane, where Spencer Broughton were put on gibbet in 1600s. Down there for robbing a stagecoach carriage. And we're just going to go past a pub called Newson Gibbet. And Spencer Broughton is there today. We don't, we don't mess about in Sheffield. We don't fuck about. We do that to burglars as well today if they catch them, don't we? Yeah. It's just that we don't hang them up on the street somewhere. No, we die there. Eh? Well, don't go on about, oh, I got right slated last week about that. I put some on and Dave did. Look at him laughing. Saying that criminals who commit murder and child murder and rape should be dyed purple and blue so we can see who they are. Anyway, I would ask to take it down. A copper sent me a private message, a police officer, saying that the YouTube channel where I've said that people who commit murder should be dyed a certain colour and rapists should be dyed bright pink or something or bright green or blue wants to remove him because people who commit certain crimes especially against children he meant nonsense but he didn't say nonsense but he says people who commit certain crimes the police have a duty of care to them as well and the police have to make sure that they're not recognised in the community because then people will take the law into their own hands Yeah, I suppose they would actually, yeah. But at least you're not going to get a nonce living at side of a school and that, are you? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think it would stamp it out, wouldn't it, Dave? Yeah, it's certainly stopped a lot of it. Yeah, they thought that every time they walk out of door, somebody's going to say, 
Now, what's that colour represent now? Oh, it's purple, he's a nonce. Well, I think that would be brilliant. Yeah. Quite simple, if you don't want dying purple, don't commit crime. That's, that's a good thing. Wife beaters. Wife beaters should be the same. Something that both me and my wife are passionate about. Some of the things that I've had to listen to. Just unbelievable. Absolutely. And you don't have to hit a woman with your fist to be abusive. You can pull her down all the time, day in, day out. Being horrible. Words can be a lot worse than fists. A lot worse. So any bloke what thinks that's clever by pulling his wife down or ridiculing her in front of people, they want dying as well. I'd die nearly everybody if I had my way. I don't really like people, do I, Dave? No. I'm not a people person at all. I just thought that the people have their head, I don't they? I don't, I don't mean their head, I mean I the skin. I hope nobody uh, gets beat up that's got, got purple, purple hair. hair down it's not the rare I'm on about dying, it's it's their entire body. That were clever, weren't it? Dashing and cutting in. Uh, no, I don't mean die the rare, I mean die their entire body, purple. Every bit of them. That's what I'd do. So don't go out bashing people with purple hair, whatever you do. I don't want to be associated with that, do I Dave? So I hope you're all going to have a lovely weekend. The weather's going to be amazing apparently. It's going to be lovely this weekend. Dave's probably going out into uh, countryside for a walk with Dawn. Yeah. So it gets them out. I don't know what me and my governor's doing. That's up to my governor. Uh, we'll have to see. Probably be gardening grass needs cutting so oh why are we on phone because then we're not on my GoPro I had a problem with GoPro something went wrong with it it kept freezing we've tried it a couple of times this week and we couldn't put no on because it's just voice so I took it back to Argos and says well only had it three months it's knackered it's not it's freezing all the time Send it back to GoPro, woman at Crystal Peak says. I says, contract's not with GoPro, it's with you, it's you I bought it off. We ain't got none in stock. This summit met a wall. So I went to met a wall. They says, we ain't got none. We've all sold. So I said, I'll just have my money back. Yeah, but we need box where it come in. And we need things what come with what you stick onto things. Seriously, some people shouldn't be allowed to mix and mingle with normal, sensible people. I says, hang on a minute, how can I, how can I get sticky things? I've stuck them on dashboard. Once it's stuck on, they're stuck. Oh yeah. And then I ended up getting this kid, I forgot his name, but he were at Meadowall Argos. He come to sort it out and he were absolutely brilliant, that kid. And if they're watching this, mate, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. Might have been Matthew or something like that. But it was brilliant. And he says to this bloke, no, no, they stick on things. Can't get them off once they've stuck on. We just take camera back. So they just took camera off me and reimbursed me. Nearly 400 quid. So at the moment, and we are a camera, a GoPro. Got to go and buy another one. I don't know whether to get a DGI because I was looking at them the other day and they're quite good. I might not go with GoPro. Yeah, we'll have to see. So that's why we're on this at the moment. That's why we're on my phone. So if my phone's upside down, when if we're upside down, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll probably put phone on stand wrong. I don't know. But we'll not be on this for long, will we, Dave? Just stand on your head, sit for upside down. I'll be alright. Do they have viewers can't understand on the red? Well, they're my viewers as well. 
Well, I did have yours as well, right? Well, anybody what tunes in for me, I'd suggest you lay on bed with your head on or edge of it, and Dave wants you to stand on your heads. <coughs> so, choose which way of doing it you want. Might not even do that, it might go on right way around, but it might be like a little screen, because it is a lot of time on this. What's that say, Bob Murray? Recording. Can't see what it says. Recording. Recording. Oh, good job. Bloody hell. Good job I turned it on, otherwise we'd have been chatting all that way for now, wouldn't we? Well, it wouldn't be first time, would it? No. <laughs> Going past Springwood now, old own, top wood folk. Bit of a pub that in its day when it had Edwardian lounge, it were beautiful. What a shame. Anyway, we're just about back. We're driving now through beloved Woodthug. We're up past Stuller Road, which then merges into Nodder Road, which then merges into where we are, just at the top of here. Yeah, People are so patient with me because can't drive fast, obviously, doing 22 miles an hour now. Anyway, I'm going. Take care everybody and thanks for liking our channel if you press like on this. Thanks for subscribing and pressing that little bell. Uh, much appreciated. And thanks for leaving us a comment. Yeah. As the group said, Dave. Yeah, just have a good weekend everybody. Keep yourself hydrated in this hot weather because apparently it's going to be really hot tomorrow. He means going pub, that's what he means. Old Ray Barkles, he's a right nice kid. Let's knock about with here, Johnny. Me and a kid called Sean Moore. Old Sean were one of my closest mates, a right good Sean. We used to knock about with him, Johnny Barkles. Sadly passed away now, Johnny. A right nice bloke. So we're back at the care centre. Show you a picture of our premises. Cheryl. And there's Cheryl here, my wife look. The governor. Say hello to them on YouTube. <laughs> Say hello, Sid. What's he doing, babe? Yeah. You alright love? Yeah. We're back. Got your aircon on. You got me aircon on. That's my amazing, wonderful, beautiful wife who tolerates me and puts up with me. <laughs> See you later babe. Bye. Sexy legs. Bye love. I am so lucky to have that woman. Seriously. She could do a lot better than me. Without a doubt. Uh, and I know it because she tells me every day. Don't she Dave? Does, yeah. And mine's somewhere inside. And Dawn's inside. Somewhere, probably asleep. Full wait till she sees this. She's working hard, Dawn. Right, we're going, everybody. Look after your sons. Have a fantastic weekend. And it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. See? Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for leaving us a comment if you decide you're going to do. Take care, everybody. Ta-da.